days. So, what time is it? Let me check. It's 10.01 and I am ready to go to my second job. It used to be my first job, which is a telemetry monitor tech, but you know, now I work as a registration rep at my hospital's weight loss center. So now I just work as a telemetry tech per diem, pretty much when I want. It's Friday. My other job is only Monday through Thursday. So I usually pick up to do telemetry on Fridays, sometimes Saturdays, depending on what I have to do. Um, I have to be there at 11. That's when I need to be there, but I'm leaving a little earlier because I need to go get some water and maybe like a snack because I have yet to go grocery shopping, but today's payday. So I'm gonna go tomorrow because I'm not working. <laughs> parking garage so it's 10 27 i know i'm here mad early but i like to get here early so i can just sit and collect my thoughts pray a little bit prepare my mind because when i tell you okay if you work in a hospital you know like people are mad rude like people really it's not even the patients just the patients or like the patients families it be the nurses okay it be the co-workers it be the people that you work with every single day that just be mad rude for no reason especially i don't care especially the doctors and the nurses well some not really the doctors the doctors be thinking like they're up here so sometimes they don't even really be talking to you there are some nice doctors i'm not trying to say like all doctors are a-holes but it really be the nurses like they really be thinking like they are the shiz naive okay and when you're not a nurse they be thinking like they're better than you i don't know if it's like that in y'all's hospital but in my hospital the nurses wear blue everyone else wears different colors and if you're not in blue or like um i think the nurse practitioners were black so they're bet apparently they're on a higher scale of like the registered nurses but if you're not in blue they really be thinking like your left
called the nurse and she said that she was sorry I had to make sure no one was there so I just called that nurse she said she was at lunch but she's been at lunch for an hour and 30 minutes I don't know how long nurses take their lunches you see what I'm trying to say so let me call somewhere else so after I call I just write it down on my um it looks like a half a booker, but I promise you it's my nose ring. I just write it down on my call. Log. You see, this is my call. Log. I'm definitely gonna get me some. I'm gonna go hurry up and go back to my station. It looks one eternity later. I'm at the gym. I got off at 11 p.m. It's 11.40 now. <laughs> Instacarted some things from Walgreens because I didn't feel like driving because I actually have a lot to do today and that just would have put more on my list. But I instacarted some things for my mother because she fell down the stairs. She's kind of okay. We think she sprained her ankle, it might be broke, but she's kind of stubborn and she doesn't want to go to the doctor. So I know basic medical necessities, so I ordered these things which are kind of expensive, but they're worth it. <clears throat> so the first thing I ordered is a wrap. Because we know if you have an ankle sprain or injury, you definitely need to wrap it to keep stability. The other thing that was some ibuprofen to help with inflammation. And it's a pain reliever. was Epsom salt because this also helps with relieving you know pains and sprains so this will be good and the last thing I got are crutches because she keeps walking on her foot which is not good and it's causing more it could cause more of an injury, you guys know, and it's even more swollen than it was before. So I bought these, and I'm glad they had these because I think this is like this is like one of the main things she needs. So I'm gonna handle that. 
and I have a, a lot of things to do so I'm gonna take you guys with me and I guess I'll just see you guys later hey guys so it's hours later I'm currently at my church I'm in the bathroom because it has a big mirror and I want to show you guys so I try to do something with my hair today because I have to run some errands from a distance I feel like it looks good I mean unlike yesterday I know you guys saw my hair it was super big because it was raining yesterday so mm, it just didn't go good so anyway I try to do one two three with my hair but like I said from the distance it looks good but up close let me see if y'all can see it y'all see my lace I need to go to like a hair class or something because I'm not good with hair. Like, I just, I don't know how to do anything. I don't know how to lay lace. <sighs> but anyway, I want to show you my outfit. I found these leggings at a store called Gabe's, Gabe or Brothers. And they were only $3. And I know this is probably not someone's tease, but I just thought they were fun and cute. So they have like, you know, little queen. And then on the other side, they have that. And I just have this little hoodie on because it is a little chilly and then I got my little platform sandals but anyway the reason why I'm at the church is because every Saturday they have like this stuff for kids like they'll have like a bible study and games just to give them something to do because you know with COVID a lot of stuff is um shut down and so I just volunteer I usually just serve the food so I'm going to show you guys that but I just encourage you guys to like, you know, volunteer with something. If you don't have a local church, go find a local church or I don't know, volunteer at like a homeless shelter. But that's so guys, I had to put on a freaking headband because my lace started coming up, but I look okay. We're about to serve pizza. That looks so good. But I'm, oh, and they have juice too, it's really good. TJ Maxx and I'm gonna go to the dollar store and I really need to stop doing things last minute because it is so packed out here like I'm gonna show you guys but it is packed way far from TJ Maxx I'm just gonna have to walk a little bit that's fine get the exercise let's go and I need to clean out my car I ran into my sister at TJ Maxx. Obviously, she has the same idea of getting a gift.
I'm back home and I'm gonna show you guys what I got from, I went to TJ Maxx, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Kroger. So, somehow I went to TJ Maxx and I found a lot of stuff for myself and nothing for my mom. But I did find some stuff for her, just not at TJ. All right, I'm gonna show you. So the first thing is I got this like little makeup pouch. Um, I'm gonna use this to carry like my brush, my sprays, you know, you know, girl stuff. And I wanted something cute because, okay, so I'm on this little thing where I want to start looking presentable when I step outside because usually this is my mindset that I've been having oh I don't work with anyone who's attractive I don't see anyone that's attractive so you know I'm not gonna like put on my best like I don't be looking busted I just kind of just look decent like you know what I'm saying but I want to start looking more feminine and cute and just you know put together but like I don't want to look like I'm doing too much like I want to look like oh she's naturally like that or maybe it's Maybelline <laughs> okay let me stop I'm just saying that's just how I want to do so I bought this to put in my bag <clears throat> this was $5.99 y'all can see it and it has a lot of space I mean it's just that's it y'all know Okay, so the next thing I got, hold on, I'm thirsty. I went and got me a little Arizona. This is like my favorite flavor, the mango. Cause it's already getting hot outside. First it was cool and breezy and now it's like hot. Mm, okay, the next thing I got was a necklace. So like I said, I just wanna start looking cute and dainty um, like at work and just like on an everyday basis. I always wear earrings, but <clears throat> I want to start wearing like a necklace every day. I got this. It was $16.99. I just thought it was super cute. It's sterling silver and cubic zirconia. <clears throat> and I just think wearing something like this every day, it's just like a nice cute little statement. Like, I don't know. I want to try to find like a cute like little bracelet or like some rings that I could like, you know, rock every day. So I got that. <clears throat> I also got some mascara because if you look, I barely, okay, my eyelashes are just thin. They've never been thick. And, excuse me, I don't want to be wearing falsies every single day because you know, sometimes the glue irritates my eye and I want to just try this a little bit and see if it does anything for me. Um, it was $3.99. Then I went and got eyeliner, some colorful. I just like the colors and I know some people only do name brand. Really, it doesn't bother me as long as it doesn't break me out. I really like the colors and I'm gonna see. Let's swatch one. Okay, first I'm gonna show you the price. $3.99 as well. Let's see. I can get this open. What color do I wanna swatch? Mm, I wanna swatch the green one because that was the one color that I was like, ooh. Okay. Let's swatch this. It's not bad. Very vibrant. Let's swatch another one. I just want to see, like, is this a waste of my money or... I'm going to swatch two more colors. I'm going to show y'all. I don't like this gray. I feel like it was really hard. It's kind of like a purplish. I feel like it was really hard for me to get that color on there. Like I would have to go over it a couple of times. The green was good. So I have the blue. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, the blue was easy to go on. 
Okay, I don't think it was a waste of my money. Okay, so I also got this Castor Lash and Brow for fuller, thicker brows and lashes. Ooh, it ha it's enhanced with 10% black seed oil. $7.99. I kind of think this was a waste of my money. <clears throat> because I have castor oil and black seed oil at my in my in my room. Let's see, I'm gonna open it. Did I waste my money? Okay, well, it comes like with a little brush, so you'll see. Know what I'm gonna do? Once this is gone. I'm just gonna refill it myself and then it won't be a waste of money. Okay, because like, you know, the the brush, that's what the brush. I feel like it kind of was a waste of money because I could have like got something off of Amazon. Like I could have got like the little spoolies and then have my own oil. Okay, it doesn't matter, I already bought it. <clears throat> the sec or not second, the next thing I got was this anti-cellulite body sponge. This was $4.99 <clears throat> because I have cellulite. Who doesn't? So it cleanses, exfoliates, moisturizes, and massages. Hmm. And it has vitamin C in it. Wow. This smells good. <clears throat> I should have got five of these. Like, because it says it lasts over 20 plus washes. But I don't really see myself using this like 20 times. It says help may help reduce the appearance of cellulite with continuous use. Yeah, I should have got five of these. I might have to make another trip back. Wow, this this smells good. This is what it looks like. Just, I guess you just. <clears throat> hmm. I'm actually happy with this purchase. The next thing I got, so I'm really excited about this next thing. I found these panties. I mean, you guys saw. They're bikini style. And it has a four-way stretch, super soft, ultimate comfort, no visible panty line. You know what these remind me of? Skims. I haven't have, I hadn't bought any skims, but I've watched a lot of reviews on the panties of skims. And this is what they kind of just remind me of. Like with the four-way stretch, um, no visible panty line. I mean, they just don't come in like pink, but like the rest, I should have, you know what? I'm gonna definitely make a trip back because I need to buy like three more packs of these. Cause these feel so good. Like this is about to be everyday panty use. So yeah, I need to go back and get some more of these. The next thing I got is this perfume. called sap I don't know how to say it I'm gonna just show you guys again it looks expensive mm, and I think it smells so good so I always see people like on YouTube buying perfume for like a $300 or more and I'm just not comfortable spending $300 on perfume but I want a good perfume so when I walk into work I want to get compliments and I just feel like the Bath and Body Works Victoria's Secrets is not cutting it. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to spray it now. Wow. I think this smells really good. It smells grown. And it was only $12.99. I'm going to see if like Amazon or something <clears throat> sells this. Mm. It smells good. The next thing I bought was this bag. I bought this because once again, I wanna start looking cute at work. 
And I wanted a black bag. They didn't have any black bags that I liked, but I saw this because it was big. And this is one of my favorite colors. It comes with like a little hand sanitizer thing. I don't know what this is. I don't, I guess you put your phone in it. It's cute. The bag is big and spacious. And it was only $19.99. Um, I don't really see myself wearing this anywhere else other than work because I'm not really like a purse type girl. I'm more of like a wallet because I don't really like to carry a lot of things when I go into the stores or honestly anywhere. But yeah, then I went to Kroger's. I didn't really show you guys that because I really was in and out. I just went and got like some waters and stuff for work, like fruit and some vegetables. Nothing, nothing important. And plus, every single store I stepped into, because it's Mother Day, Mother's Day and plus it's close to the first of the month, everybody was in there. All of the lines were super packed and I was just really just trying to get in out. The rest of the stuff like that I got from like Dollar General, Dollar Tree and the rest of the stuff is stuff for my mom. I bought her like her favorite snacks and stuff because ever since she sprained her ankle, She's been calling and texting me nonstop to bring her her snacks and stuff because she's laid up and all she's doing is watching TV and I guess she's bored. So I'm going to make her a basket full of her stuff and give it to her for Mother's Day. I also bought her a card and a gift card. Um, um, Yeah, I think that will be the end of this vlog. So I'll see you guys in the next.